Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Okay, let's begin. By the way, all that captured with one single iPhone. Hi everyone. This is Dyson. Okay, let's begin. All that coming up. This is the future. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome to my channel. You see, facial animation and body animation is so headache for non-animator artists. So I am trying to adopt and adopt new technology. But I must say, adopting new thing is so damn hard. But in the end, it will make your life much, much easier. So for this one, long story short, for face movement, we will capture that with MetaHuman Animator. I am MetaHuman. And for the full body movement, we will use Move AI, aka Move One, of course. And we will bring all that in Unreal Engine 5. Of course, we will have some issue and we're gonna deal with it. Okay, first let's begin with Meta Human Animator. We're gonna uh, capture our face movement. By the way, if you're not familiar with that, you need to see this one. Yeah, you see that. And of course, uh, in this one, I talk about how you can capture your face movement with awesome Meta Human Animator and make sure watch that until this point. You see? Okay, let's begin. Okay. Here we are in Unreal Engine 5.3 and I have captured this one. I suppose you see the video I mentioned before. So now let's create a performance, meta human performance. Of course, let's select our footage. And as you can see, this is our footage. Let's select our identity we create here. Okay, we have this identity now and now i guess yeah let's set uh, the frame range okay after the collaboration yeah from here and yeah yeah, yeah. okay that's good and yeah that's good for now and let's hit process and fast forward this will take too much okay i have uh, this one as you can see and here make sure to disable head uh, movement or head tracking here and let's export the animation okay let's rename it for example face anim and yeah we need to disable that of course and all that is okay now we have the animation okay let me show you that's the animation, voila. This is meta human animation and that's awesome. Now, let's go, let's bring our meta human quickly in Quixel Bridge and let's drag the blueprint and restart, restart and compile of course. And this is our meta human. Okay, now let's create, I guess, sequencer and let's uh, rename that a main for example okay let's open that and drag our meta human blueprint here and of course will this will create a control rig for us we don't need that let's delete the face and let's have this animation face animation you see that okay that's so easy see let's set up the range and yeah 
let me show you here I want to prove to you we have the animation and where are you oh boy come on man okay this is our animation voila that's simple okay we have the facial animation thanks to the meta human animator now we need full body animation for that we're gonna use move ai aka move one the latest product with single iphone camera and of course if you're not familiar with that you can see this video here believe me this is an awesome one and uh, i don't know you know that or not but in web application of move ai they have a pre-targeted skeleton okay and i don't know this one with move one it's pre-targeted skeleton or not but we're gonna find out okay i assume you have captured your uh, move one movement and have the fvx and let me create a move one folder here okay let's import that fvx of course you see we're not going to assign the skeleton we're gonna import the animation and let's import this is our first method okay we have the asset and we have this animation where are you uh, the skeleton this is the animation let's bring it here and this is let me simulate that and this is our animation you see that awesome now you see we have this asset here and of course we search that here we're not going to find it because it's not meta human animation okay let's uh, try another approach let's assign the skeleton in the first import and let's see what's happened this is meta human base skeleton and boom we have error the skeleton and the bone it's not identical so this is wrong and another uh, approach of course i tried here i import that and we have retarget option here by uh, unreal engine and i select that and for example this one and i retarget that we have a new animation of course you see that and that's the animation and if we assign that here you see this is now it's available because it's meta human skeleton but you see that with this magical retarget nothing happened the actor is not moving and that's the issue how we're gonna solve that you see for transferring your animation to the meta human we took the simplest way ever we assigned the skeleton in the first import not working of course we try retargeting that not working of course there is no magical button to do the retargeting thing but there is the principle if you want to transfer different skeleton animation to the different skeleton in our case meta human skeleton you need to retarget them retarget them means you need to link or specify kind of rule with a two skeleton okay for the retargeting meta human skeleton with move one skeleton not move ai move one pay attention for that in my method first we're gonna took a sample from meta human skeleton and bring that in houdini because i am a houdini guy i will retarget that in kinefix because i have a more control uh, in there we're gonna uh, uh, took a sample uh, skeleton from meta human animator and we're gonna retarget that in houdini let's see what's happened okay for that let's go to blueprint and body component here where are you body component and let's go here and let's select this icon and this is our skeleton let's asset action and export as a fvx okay for example here and let's uh, save that with this option of course we don't have any 
we don't need any uh, mesh here i want to just the skeleton of course not collision of course and not this one let's export that and let's jump in in houdini let's uh, create fvx uh, character import select our meta human let's create null i want to show you the skeleton and voila this is the meta human skeleton that's awesome you see that in another hand we have this uh, move one skeleton here let me load that and you see and bone deform of course and this is our animation okay that's awesome we need to retarget these two skeleton for that first let's create uh, match pose of course uh, i uh, talk about uh, this one in this video of course match pose we're gonna uh, match the poses here see let's go here and we have these two different skeleton of course with match pose we uh, we can uh, scale of course rotate and uh, manipulate the bones of course you see I'm manipulating this one. I want to make it uh, closest as possible here. And yeah, for example, this one and this bone here. And yeah, this is with uh, this is a rig match pose, of course. And after that, we need to uh, link those. Uh, bones uh, let's go and use a map point where are you sorry okay map point and with that let's translate that it's not going to translate the actual uh, skeleton this is for visualization purpose and let's uh, hit uh, hold on shift and click on these bones I uh, of course uh, doing that quickly because it's so, uh, so it will take uh, too much of course and yeah you see that and uh, meta human skeleton is a little bit challenging uh, and try different uh, of course uh, setting I, as you can see I linked all uh, these fingers wow man the fingers it's uh, pain and let's create now a full body IK to apply this animation and voila you can see this is meta human performing our uh, mocap uh, data you see that's awesome honestly you can uh, use this method of course with Miximo to meta human this is uh, uh, for move one to meta human and this is an awesome of course and uh, of course i clicked up uh, iteration and dumping and this is the skeleton we need this target skeleton and of course this is the catch we're gonna rope uh, fbx animation this node will just uh, export the skeleton let's uh, create dollar os this is will take the name from the node name and let's uh, have a uh, name for that radar get mh and uh, this is mean meta human and let's export that okay let's go to the unreal engine import that skeleton now we can sell, uh, assign this uh, meta human base skeleton to it and that's nice and we're gonna import that now we have our animation let me show you okay this is the animation you see <laughs> that's nice man <laughs> and if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and if you have any question i mean any question leave me comment here okay let's proceed we have some issue here we're gonna fix that of course and now if we search for that animation in body uh, component okay retargeted meta human and voila we have our animation you see that okay this is awesome you see that but we have an issue here 
okay that's weird I don't know if this is bug or uh, it's me but uh, we're gonna try to fix that of course you see that the the body is stretched and the locomotion is not working okay for the locomotion I tried a couple of approach I want to share it with you guys of course the problem is in this root joint uh, uh, first I thought to myself if, if I link this root together the meta human uh, and move on it will work but let's see what's happened here you see that I'm linking uh, this uh, root joint of course and let's export that and boom let's re-import that and of course Okay, let's wait and let's see the result nothing happened that's disaster okay and of course I went to the animation and I of course changed the route uh, from animation to skeleton but no luck it's not working how are we gonna fix that okay the problem is going to solve by this method of course let's uh, disable this link and we have this uh, root constraint and we're gonna uh, select the pelvis from meta human uh, skeleton that will be our root constraint the solver will calculate based on this constraint and damn it this is the pelvis and let's see what's gonna happen here let's export that and boom re-import it quickly come on guys come on 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 and one two three and voila <laughs> that's awesome and this is solved but we have another problem that the body it's stretch and we're gonna fix that okay let's go of course let's go to the uh, animation file i want to show you something here you see in the bone section all the bones set to animation relative you see we're gonna uh, set that all to the animation and boom you see that snap and <laughs> that's fixed honestly this is an awesome okay that's awesome okay this is the animation of course we're gonna clean up the finger the head and another uh, small thing here and of course for the cleanup I have this video out uh, uh, the previous video sorry here and yeah we're gonna clean up that quickly okay i did some cleanup with this uh, rig pose and uh, some uh, small animation uh, and uh, yeah it's not perfect but uh, for the sake of this demonstration just uh, boys i want to give you the method and you can use that by uh, for your project and of course this uh, houdini scene is available on my patreon make sure to check it here and of course I uh, brought that in Unreal again and yeah I am uh, pretty happy with it but uh, yeah it's not bad it's decent and for the face movement of course you can sync it with this edit and split it's like Premiere Pro or DaVinci Resolve you can uh, edit the timeline and with that this is the result and you see <laughs> honestly I love it. Thank you, Epic, for the real time uh, approach here. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.